Welcome everybody to our March 5th, 2020 town board meeting. And um, I'm now going to introduce Matthew Graves, who's going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And will everyone please stand? And then a moment of silence, please. To the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank Town Clerk Desiree Potvin. I say me. I, Matthew Graves, mm. promise to perform, promise to perform the duties of the duties of junior deputy supervisor, junior deputy supervisor for the month of for the month of March 2020, March 2020, to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, welcome Matthew, you did a great job. Normally, um, with the Junior Deputy Supervisor Program, I'm out scouting the town, going to functions, and finding children, and I ask them if they want to be my Deputy Supervisor, and there's always a little something here and there. But Matthew, you're one of the first people to actually call and want to be the Deputy <laughs> Supervisor. So, I think that in itself gets a hand. This certificate of acknowledgement, this certified, this certificate of acknowledgement, uh, I think I've done this for two years, I would know it by now. Oh, sorry. This certificate is to acknowledge Matthew Graves has been bestowed the title of Junior Deputy Supervisor for the month of March 2020, site Supervisor Frank J. Ford. Congratulations. This is the best part. You get to take a picture of me. Come on, I gotta step out. Come on, I gotta step out. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the first time you've had a deputy supervisor that's calling oh, like, oh, No, oh, no, oh, I think oh, I have oh, one. I look like a midget. I call those balls. I came with this one. Congratulations. Do you think he is? Should I get that one? Beautiful. Thank you. Which one is Matthew? Good looking one. Of course, with Matthew today is his wonderful mom and his grandfather. So thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Um, okay, we get to do some public input. Anybody um, want to get up and say something? Okay. Anything you want to talk about? You're more than welcome to get up and say something. Okay. Well. But you got to go up there and, and do what your son did. Push the button. What do I have to do? State your name. Push the button. Screen. Okay. State your name and then you can say. Obviously, we all are aware of the coronavirus, and everybody is in a bad panic. None of the stores have sanitizer. I have my 80-year-old dad lives with me. I have Matthew who's in the high school. Germs everywhere. Nobody has it, so I went on Amazon last night, and normally a case of six is $18. Amazon was charging $49.99 for the case, and I bought two cases. What are you going to do? I'm not in a panic myself, but you should really have the sanitizer, and I don't know how it's legal, but they're allowed to do that. I think it's just horrible. I think they are starting some of us. I was listening today on the news, and they are going to yeah. start doing these. Because it's ridiculous. Yeah, you, $15 you, you, you. to sit that are normally $18. Yeah. That's all I wanted to say. I do know you. that New York City has, um, has put the something virus? in place to uh, stop the price gouging of the, of the masks. So I'm sure that the Purell and the hand sanitizer will come I could not believe when I saw $49.99. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay. Um, administrative business. I need a motion and a second to accept. Um, administrative business. I need a motion and a second to accept the minutes of uh, 2 20 2020. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I need a motion and a second to approve the revised abstract number one. Desiree, please. Abstract number one is by avoiding 20 which is check number 22. 147 in the amount of $150, which reduces the total of the abstract to be $340,685.25. I need a motion. I'll make that motion. And a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. I need a motion and a second to approve the revised abstract number three. It voids vouchers 20.00290, which is check number 22251 in the amount of $4,603.67, which reduces the total of the abstract to be $303,145.15. Okay, do I have a motion? A motion. And a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Now we need a motion and a second to approve abstract number four. Hopefully we don't have to revise this one. <laughs> which contains vouchers 20.0312 through 20.0407 and totals $117,539.42. I need a motion. I'll make the motion. And a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, budget modifications. That's all right, please. Uh, there's one for 2019 and three for 2020. For 2019, it's increasing L7410.429 special programs by $100 and decreasing L7410.428 children's programs by $100. For 2020, it's increasing a 2707 ACO gift card by $1,500 and increasing a 3510.407 gift card expense by $1,500, increasing a 1620.446 community center propane by $4,000, and decreasing a 7110.463 chemicals by $4,000, and increasing L7410.409 building improvements by $10,000 and increasing L3840 state aid libraries by $10,000. Thank you. Thank you, that's right. Do I have a motion? A motion. And a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, let's go on to new business. Uh, we need to schedule a public hearing on March 19, 2020 for the community development grants. I need a motion and a second to authorize Desiree uh, the town clerk to uh, publish that. I make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, we need a motion and a second to authorize the supervisor to approve the resolution to appoint Al Fusco, our town engineer, to represent the town of Woodbury for the Orange County Development Grants. I'll make the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I need this motion and a second to authorize the supervisor to approve and sign the Stratagems contract for security cameras at Town Hall and at the community center. Um, we're going to put an alarm system and, and have um, cameras up at the community center and we're going to establish two cameras in this building to uh, observe anyone coming in and out of the town clerk's office. The, um, um, Assessor's office, thank you, and the, and the supervisor's office. So I need a motion and a second. Motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, I need a motion and a second to authorize the supervisor to sign the DWI agreement with the county. With the motion. Second. Discussion? Go ahead. Um, if, is that program um, something where they can come? They come to us to do something with the police department? Whatever no, they pay, they pay yes. us to do the DWI program. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's right. a grant that they give us. All, right. uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 And I'd like to, um, Chief, you want to take a second to just uh, say something about that, please? The DWI uh, first enforcement wave in New York State starts um, this coming March 13th and it goes through Memorial Day. Um, so in addition to stepped up patrols um, 
from our department, you'll also see the state police and the Orange County sheriffs in our jurisdiction just to make everyone aware. Um, there's three enforcement periods, and uh, this is the first one that you just voted on. Thank you. So that means no drinks and no drive, especially in the town of Woodbury or anywhere. Um, thank you, Chief. Uh, I need a motion and a second to authorize the town board to approve the appointment of Joseph Jean Zero, who has been pre-approved by Orange County to hold the title of Working Supervisor for the Parks, effective 3 two, 20 Only the title has changed and there is no change in this compensation. So I need a, I'll make that motion. I need a second. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, I need a motion and a second to um, accept the resignation with regrets of Officer Jay Farrell, uh, full-time police officer, um, who will be separating his employment from the town of Woodbury, effective March 31st, 2020. Um, he's been with this department for quite some time. He's been our first um, canine uh, officer. And it'll be slowly messed up. I need a motion and a second, please. Just a motion. I'll second. No all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, we have an appointment of Sue Lynch to the Phil the Parks uh, committee vacancy. Uh, we had done our interviews uh, on Monday, and it will run through 12 31 2024. So I need a motion and a second, please. Make a motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, that ends our new business. Anybody have anything for old business? Mm -hmm. Old business. Um, we are. We just had a meeting and our work session to discuss the pool timeline. So um, pending the final um, approvals from our town clerk. We're going to um, publish that information. We'll be sending that information out through our Parks and Rec web, um, I'm sorry, Parks and Rec email. Uh, we'll also be publishing it on the Photo News, and um, and we'll also be uh, posting it on the website. So uh, we do encourage the community to come out. We are scheduling. We're hoping to schedule the first community meeting on. Um, March 31st. It's a Tuesday evening from 6 to 8 at the Senior Center. And then we're looking to have a, another meeting on April 4th at, um, I believe, 10 o'clock at the Reds, at the Recreation Building from um, 10 to 12. And then we're hoping to have the concept designs for all three pools available uh, the following week um, at the library as well as um, Tom Hall. And uh, so we, we definitely encourage the community to come out. Uh, there'll be surveys that will be taken or that we're hoping that the community will complete. Uh, and then that information is what we're going to use to make our final decision with the committee. So we encourage everyone to kind of mark those dates. Again, that's going to be um, March 31st from 6 to 8 at the Senior Center. And then April 4th from 10 to 12 at the um, Recreation Building. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah. Uh, I'd just like to thank Jen Farrell for all his uh, years of service in the Woodbury Police Department. He was a real gentleman, and uh, he is a real gentleman, and a hard worker. And I, I appreciate his, his uh, hours that he spent here and wish him well in whatever he chooses to do. Thank you. Tom? Just want to um, congratulate. Um, Matthew, this month, good luck, all right? Good to see you around a little bit. Um, well deserved. Uh, congratulations to Joe for his uh, new appointment. I know that between himself and what he does with the parks is unbelievable, and now that he's with the grounds with Bobby and the staff that he has there, uh, and he's gonna work well. And, uh, congratulations to him. Um, and also, congratulations too, and a big thank you to um, um, I wish him the best of luck, too. Okay, um, Councilwoman Hernandez. 
Yeah, I would have said all at one time because I thought we were doing all. Um, I also want to join in and just thank um, Joe for the work that he's been doing at the parks, and I really look forward to making a stronger team for the buildings and grounds. So I have faith that you're going to do that. And I too would like to uh, join in and congratulating and wishing good luck to Officer Farrell uh, for his service in Woodbury. Um, thank you. Okay, um, Desiree. Um, just want to remind everybody that the Lions Club is collecting plastic, soft plastic, not hard plastic like bottles, um, in different locations throughout the community. There's a bin at the Senior Center, there's a bin in my office here at Town Hall, there's a bin at Village Hall, there's a bin at Jay's Deli, and I think there's one at Aldi's. Um, so they're collecting this plastic. If we collect 500 pounds, Trex will take the plastic and give us a community bench for free. I think we're at 40 or 50 pounds right now, so in the past two weeks we've collected quite a bit. Um, also, the Lions Club is also selling their Easter bunnies for the upcoming holiday. They're five dollars each, or three for 15. If you want some mummer with berry, you know that enough. And uh, I have them here in my <laughs> office. <laughs> That's it. You just deal. got it, Joe? I just got it. Such a deal. It's a, such a deal. Um, we have them for sale here in my office the town, at the town hall, and they're also going to be selling them at the post offices and at Jay's Deli. Again, it all goes to raising money for the Lions Club. And um, there is a free rabies clinic in the month of May in Woodbury at the Village Highway Garage that the animal, Town Animal Control Department is putting on. There will be more information about that uh, next Month once the flyer I received from the county, I can tell you more about that. I think that's it. That's right. Ah, hi. What's the deadline for the plastics? Sometime in August, so there's plenty of time. So, oh, August, okay. Yeah. So I know the reusable plastic bags are hot demand. I think I saw one for sale on Facebook for a thousand dollars in Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Joking. Uh, but we collect those too and those get traded in. Those get traded in. So, uh, this is like bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Stretch wrap. Anything stretch like that. Stretch wrap. The plastic that comes around when you buy the big cases of water. Mm -hmm. That plastic. Um, dry cleaning. If you do a lot of dry cleaning. The dry cleaning bags that your clothing comes in. That's a big thing. I've had quite a few people, business people in the area who do that and have dropped some off. Um, I'm Right now, the senior side is winning with how much they've collected. I'm a close second, though, so. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, no comments. Okay. Joey? Uh, first, I want to say thank you to the board for having confidence in me to do this job. Um, we already started. We, we first day on the job, we we're, we're rolling. Okay, uh, I met with all the department heads, um, and we got a lot of things going on. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a little bit more streamlined, and you know, and Frank doesn't get his phone ring as much, um, so that'd be a good thing. Uh, second is uh, we had a movie night, Star Wars, with our first movie with the surround sound. Uh, for whoever was there, um, it was it was awesome. Uh, the surround is the sound is is unbelievable. Uh, Frank Kilatesi was there, uh, Maria and, and Bob were there. The surround is is awesome. It's going to be, you know, top shelf. Um, maybe the movie wasn't for the kids, the younger kids, but for us it was it was really good. So, uh, but we had a good time there. Uh, we have a, every month we do a movie night. Um, again, anybody else have their pass? Come on down. The office is open. Uh, before you know it, spring is going to be here and. You know, we're, we're going to be ready to roll. Uh, there's a lot of construction going up at the reservoir, so people see the mounds of, of uh, sand out there. We're just dredging the lake a little bit to get nice and clean, so it'll be nice and prestige for this year. So I know that's been on Facebook, but that's what we're doing. Uh, we're building a little wall, so there's little construction to make the place really, really beautiful. So, uh, you know, everybody can enjoy the summer because it's the only place we have. So, again, any questions, you guys go get my phone number and uh, except for Desiree, you guys can call me anytime you want. Thanks. I do have photograph proof no. that Joe did some manual labor today. So uh, if anybody wants to see it, there is proof of that. Only, only for you, Des. I'm impressed. Very impressed. 
Okay, a couple of things that I'd like to talk about. Uh, number one, I want to thank the um, ladies, uh, Carol and Alice, over at the courthouse. Uh, once again, they, they received a uh, JCAP grant uh, for uh, $1,016.20. Um, but every year they do put in for something so that we, the taxpayers, don't have to pay uh, for what they need. And um, it's truly appreciated that. They, they go through all of this and get it done. So thank you once again um, to our courts. Um, as, as the chief, it's okay. As the chief stated earlier, um, not only with the DWI, I think for mostly new residents in the area and for people who've been living here quite some time, um, this Tuesday will be poorer. Um, and we have uh, very large uh, communities here that celebrate it. It's um, excuse me, Frank. Monday. Not it starts Monday, goes through Tuesday, Sunday. Okay, thank you. Coming Monday, right? Now I read it. Monday through Tuesday. And um, for them, um, uh, for the Jewish community, uh, this is like a Halloween celebration, and there'll be a. Um, a lot of adults out there having a good time, dancing and partying, and just know that uh, it's only a one-day event, and please uh, be respectful for their holidays as uh, they are for ours. And um, once again, congratulations, Joey. Congratulations, Matthew. You did an excellent job today, and next time I know that someone's going to be here that's taller than me, I'm going to wear boots. Um, and, um, Congratulations to the Grace family, thank you. And, um, and uh, good luck to uh, Officer Farrell. We only wish him the best. Oh. Okay. I just also want to uh, publicly acknowledge the retirement of Officer Farrell. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with him for 17 years. He's been a consummate professional. He has uh, always represented our department well. Yeah, he has developed uh, not only just a co-worker, but um, into a friend that he will be sorely missed. Uh, I have spoken to his new boss, and I have told him that uh, he's getting an excellent person, and uh, I wish him well in his future endeavors. Even though he's uh, not officially retired, um, again, good luck to him and, uh, and all he does in his family. Thank you. Okay. With that, um, we're going to go into an executive session. Uh, we're going to be interviewing a few gentlemen and a lady, I'm sorry, um, for the uh, potential dispatchers. And then after that, we will uh, close the meeting out. So uh, I want to wish everybody a wonderful evening, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. And I need a motion to go into the executive session. I'll make that motion. I need a second. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Don't close it yet. Don't forget, turn your clocks ahead this Sunday. Saturday night, Sunday night. Bye-bye.